In this video I'm going to show you my complete thriller mood board and explain why I chose each image and how it relates to the thriller genre. To create my thriller mood board I researched connotations of the word and symbolism used in the genre to help me choose my images. A connotation of thriller films is murder and crime which is why I've chosen to include these images in my mood board. Another connotation of thrillers is violence and blood, which is why these images have been included in my mood board. I chose to include these images in my mood board because another connotation is a villain and a hero, or good and bad, which these images show. In thriller films, props, sets and locations all have sinister or tense connotations, which is why I have included these images in my mood board. The reason I included these images in my mood board is because most thriller films include low-key lighting. It is used to represent a dark atmosphere which can be seen as scary or mysterious. It also includes a dramatic effect as the lighting can be used as a representation of the character and the atmosphere. I chose these images because mirrors can be used to show the characters reflecting on themselves or their behaviour. and. Mirrors also indicate how characters feel about themselves in thriller films. In thriller films, the use of stairs is prominent, which is why I've included these images in my mood board. If a character is at the top of the stairs, it suggests higher power, whereas the bottom of the stairs suggests lower power. Also, the climbing of stairs can suggest a character rising to a challenge, whereas falling down the stairs can suggest a character failing a challenge, which is often seen in thriller films. Also, the angle of the camera shot can determine the power of a character, therefore thriller films are edited to introduce a character's status and consequently forces the tension and thrill of the unknown onto the viewer. Thrillers tend to include the same type of characters which I have listed around my mood board and can be seen on screen. I have also shown some of the characters through images as many are similar, for example convicts, prison inmates and criminals as they all have the same connotations. Thriller themes. I have again listed these around my mood board and these can again be seen on screen. I have also included some pictures of these themes on my mood board. Knives are often used in thriller films as they represent blood and death as well as brutality, which is why I have also included the image of the gun as this too represents violence and brutality. Knives also show that someone is going to get killed, which helps keep the audience engaged with the film. I have chosen these pictures because shadows create mystery for the audience and build fear by instigating that the protagonist is being watched. The protagonist is often oblivious to what is going on around them but can sense that something isn't right which can often lead to the start of the chase. Shadows also create thoughts of fear and darkness as well as giving the audience clues which makes them ask questions out of suspense. When a thriller film shows the protagonist to be trapped in a confined space it makes the audience feel that they are also trapped. The protagonist being confined leads to them starting to breathe heavily and start panting, which shows the audience just how trapped they really are and that they can't escape, which in turn leads to the start of their struggle to break free, which is why I have shown this image in my mood board. Woods create the sense of being lost for the audience as characters find themselves trying to figure out how to escape. Woods are normally isolated, which creates a sense of vulnerability and it seems as though the characters will never find help. Also, in the woods, there may be one house which is more than likely to be the home of the antagonist, which is why these images have been included in my mood board. I have included images of running water in my mood board because it is a symbol of death. It shows the draining of life, similar to blood dripping. Running water in thrillers suggests that characters are in danger. Street lamps are used frequently in thrillers because they keep the emphasis and focus on the protagonist and the fact that there is almost complete darkness around them, only the spotlight from the lamp. Street lamps accentuate the fact that the protagonist is all alone in the dark and therefore a tense atmosphere is created, which is why I have chosen these images to be included in my mood board. I have chosen these images because bars on windows and fences show imprisonment and isolation. Fences with razor barbed wire suggest that characters are imprisoned and that there is no way of getting out which shows their detachment from the outside world. Thrillers are normally set in cities because it brings the drama closer to home and gives a sense of reality for the audience, which is why I have included these images in my mood board. 
I have included these film covers to show the different types of thriller films that there are and what the covers look like for each different subgenre. As action thrillers is one of the largest subgenres, I have included images that are typically seen in action thriller films. When I typed thriller into Google Images, this word cloud came up which helped me to choose some of my other images for my mood board. The picture of Men in Black also came up as it is classed as a thriller as well as being a fantasy film. Thank you for watching this video of my thriller mood board and hearing my explanations for why I chose each image.